Welcome to the restorative hands-on for the prosthetics for the DS implants. And um, what you see here in front of me um, is the model, the new model for the systems uh, and the restorative parts. And we also have this box with a lot of restorative components. So first of all, um, to handle the majority of all these products in the box, you need this driver handle that you can see here, as well as the hex driver that we have here. So I put them together first here. Like that. Now to the first of the permanent abutments, the Atlantis uh, abutments, as well as the tie design. And they will be placed in different positions in the model uh, because of the design, of course. And first out is the two Atlantis abutments, one with gold U and one in just titanium. Uh, and I'll start with the gold U. And you see here it has a separate screw that you first must place inside the abutment. But to be totally sure that we fit this into the correct position, I want you to use your fingers to just feel that you're all the way down. And then you can fit the screw together with the screwdriver. It makes it very convenient to just go in here and tighten everything in one sequence. Like that. And you see you have perfect match between the soft tissue and this abutment margin. First comes the screw, and then you take out the abutment, put them back in the box. The second abutment, as I said, is in titanium only, without any gold shade. We've chosen this because it's gonna sit a little bit further back in the mouth or in the posterior position. And the same idea is to fit it into the only possible position with your fingers and thereafter you come with the screw and the screwdriver. And again I want to emphasize the perfect match between the soft tissue and the margin on the abutment. First comes the screw, and secondly, the abutment. And finally, we have the tie design in the compartment down below here. And it looks like that, with a yellow portion indicating that it's for the medium-sized implants, as well as a yellow screw, abutment screw, that is also indicating the same. Okay. So I take my tie design, I put it in the specific position, which means one of these flat sides is pointing buckly. I put a little pressure on here so it will not turn around its axis. And when I'm finished, I remove it. And you can see that I have a position that is correct with the triangular parts fitting perfect towards the soft tissue. I remove the abutment screw first and then I take out the abutment. So that was the first three of the abutments we have for the implant level.
but there will be more later on. So in this box we also have the multi-base abutments and there are two of them uh, to symbolize that this is the bridge abutment that you work with uh, when you're doing a screw retained bridge. And you see in this compartment here we have two abutments and two healing caps and I will show you two different ways to install this abutment. First, they come delivered with this plastic holder that you can use when you install the first time. And then you just snap the plastic part like that. That's the first and most ordinary way or most common way to do this. Uh, in a demonstration, or for demonstration purposes, sometimes you don't have these plastic parts. Then you instead use the driver or the driver handle together with the multi-base driver. And you take the second one and bring them together like this. And do exactly the same as you did for the first. Tighten it down until it reaches the bottom and then take out the multi-base driver. What's next? Well, now you have to work on abutment level, doing the healing, the impression taking, and all of the following steps in this sequence. So the next step is to work or put on some healing caps. And for that you need to work with the hex driver again. Looking like that. You connect them together and you just cover the multi-base with this healing cap and then it heals. Removal, same procedure. And back into the box. Secondly, we have the impression components and in this case we've chosen the pickups but there is also transfer and nowadays you can also use the IOFLOW S if you like. But for this occasion, we have taken this pickup as an example. And again, you can connect with the hex driver like that and put them on in one sequence. And you release like that. And when you hear the snap, you can take them off. So that was one of the options for impression taking with the multi-base. There are many ways to temporize and also do the final construction on these abutments, but we have chosen to take the temporary cylinder together with the bridge screw, just to show you how easy it is to place one of these cylinders onto the multi-base. So first I put on the screw onto the hex driver and then I put that into the temporary cylinder and I can thereafter just tighten it down in place. Like that. And then you're ready to make a temporary multi unit restoration. I take this out and put it back into the box. And I switch hex driver to multi base driver into my restorative driver handle the one you remember from when I showed you how to install 
And now I can uninstall these abutments the same way by just taking them out like that. And the second one. So that's all you have to know for now about the multi-base abutment for screw-retained restorations, multi-units. So we have now come to the final part of this restorative session. And uh, what's left? Uh, well, as you see here, the titanium base EV and the temp abutment EV. And I start to look into the titanium base EV. Uh, and as it's just circular or round, you can put it wherever you want. So here we have no designated position for this abutment. I put it in this posterior position, which I think is a good way to demonstrate that it's working very well in any position. And I take out the temp abutment. And also possible to place wherever you want. And here I think it's good to show that you can just in one sequence put it down in principle wherever you want. Well, that was it. That was the restorative hands-on session. And as you understand, this is just a selection of prosthetic products that we have chosen to show you to have a partial understanding of what's part of the EV assortments. But again, it's much, much more. So thank you very much.